hello everyone so um we got a new kit in the sims 4 sorry i'm i'm a little sick so my voice is like gone um but it is the sims 4 goth galore kit and i thought we could have fun making a sim with the kit and just going through the items it's kind of a cool kit like on this shirt here they did different textures and swatches and it really made each um each like swatch with like the patterns and the color look so different so even if your sim is wearing the same shirt you're not gonna notice um this was my favorite piece by far which is this little leather jacket this would be me um, I'd be rocking it, um, and I'd be rocking either the purple or the pink version. I love the pink version. I think it's so cute, um, and I love the, like, corset details in the back. Um, there's this really cool hooded jacket, which also has a really cool, uh, blue pastel -y color. There's, like, a red version as well. There's this, which is like a little, uh, you've got like mesh versions, sleeveless versions, netted versions. Um, same with this as well, which this is very similar to this to me. It just doesn't like go all the way down under the belly button. Um, and then they gave us a t-shirt with like some freezer bunny swatches and bone Hilda. Uh, I... I um I remember both Bone Hilda from like the old Sims days. That's definitely Bohem Bone Hilda. Um But I really, really like the swatches and the colors and things. We also got this really pretty dress, um, which has some beautiful uh be which is beautiful. It's like very fitted. Um, and it, it, it's just flattering to the, to the sim in general. Um, I love, love this dress. Um, and then we have this, and I feel like this pat would go really well with, like, vampires, werewolves, and, um, the Grunge Revival kit. Um, I could picture being able to, like, mix and match with it really well, you get like the pink trench coat, which that's the moment, okay? I kind of want to make her more um, pastel-y. Um, and then maybe make him uh, a little less pastel-y. With the guys, you get a lot of the same uh, kind of shirts just made for um, the men. And then you get uh, this one here, which doesn't look too bad um it's not it's not my favorite out of the shirts but it's all right I like the buckles um and then I like this one a lot with like the belts that go around it uh there's two pair of pants for the males uh so let's let's get those um there's a uh, sorry shorts there's this little short this more fitted pant and then there's this uh like cargo pant which I kind of love the cargo pant um as far as footwear we're gonna go back to the goth galore um there's these kind of um boots which you could probably see better with the shorts and then there's these more platformed boots um I in general really liked all the different um variations and the men also get the the trench coat as well um i thought that was cool i liked that they they also got that um i felt like they divided things very um pretty well um between the the men and the women like they both got um, equal amounts of clothing. The only thing that I did notice is that a lot of the clothing for the guys and the girls were the same. Um, now I think for bottoms for the female, we also, we get those same three, uh, versions that we saw on the male. We get 
a little short short and then we get a skirt with this 3d kind of um belt here um with some flatter uh texture on the buttons not a fan of the flat texture but it's whatever um i think we can make some like really really cool stuff with these pieces um and and make these sims look fun i i almost want to switch it around now actually and make her like the very um very like more red sim i almost have a hankering to like switch it because i was gonna make her very pastel but I kind of I kind of want to go for like maybe the the darker colors on her cuz I I usually do very like feminine kind of stereotypically stereotypical feminine colors um on my female sims like I go with pinks and blues and yellows but they're very like pastel or like bright pops of color. I don't usually do dark colors on females. And I kind of want to experiment because there's nothing wrong with wearing darker colors as a female. Like, colors aren't inherently male or female. Like, you can wear whatever color you like. Guys look great in pink. Men, women look good in pink. Like, it's, you, you're, you can be a guy and have your favorite color be pink and whatnot. Like, that's, that's perfectly all right. Um, so I'm, I might switch it up. Now this eyeshadow came with the kit, and I I will be honest, I don't know how I feel about it. It's it's what I think it is is it's very dark. I I, I like it in like I don't like mm, I like it in maybe like the gray. That's my favorite swatch of it, and I think it's because it's like this black seems very like overpowering to me, and I don't know why. It's just not like the the first color I I would choose. Um, I like the purple of it too. That looks really pretty to me. Um, and then did they give us anything else with the with the goth kit, or am I gonna be have to grab in from a bunch of different um, packs if I want to make a sim? Okay, uh, for makeup, did they give us? Let's see if they actually gave us a. I think they did. I think the lipstick I actually grabbed just happened to be from the Goth Galore kit. Was it? Yeah. Yup. And it's a very nice lipstick. And it does remind me of the one we got in Realm of Magic. But once I actually got in-game, because I was looking at it and I'm like, I that this is very familiar lipstick, okay? And then once I actually tried on the Realm of Magic one, I'm like, nah, these, these have some differences. There is, like, some different shading and whatnot to the lipstick and like different areas are more glossy and dark and so it is different and color wise it is is slightly different um and then we got this necklace which I'm gonna have to go let's see it might take me a while to find it because I think I have a lot of like custom content necklaces I love this necklace um, I do feel like it's, it's a little, a little overpowering, and I don't know what I'd, I'd wear it, like, I, how I, like, what Sims I would put in it, it's very, is is very, uh, it's, it's bulky is what it is, it looks, it's not like a choker necklace, like, that would be, like, up here, it's, it's more like, loose and kind of sits at the um uh like just below below the neck and I'm not sure how I feel about that I, I kind of wish it was up like a little higher but I don't I don't know it's not it's not my favorite it's not my least favorite I just feel like it's a statement piece I mean does it go with the outfit it does it kind of does um there's also, um, there's also some earrings. I almost forgot those because, you know, we gotta, we gotta have it all on this sim, okay? We need this sim to just, to, to scream that she's goth. 
Um, and I think these were the earrings. And they're very pointy in the back, this one here. And they're nice. It's not, is it my style? No, not really, but they do have some pretty swatches. Like this swatch, really pretty. It reminds me of my, uh, like my kitchenware, um, because I have like kitchenware that like kind of looks rainbowy, but it's made like that on purpose, and it's kind of like if if you turn it, you'll see like bits of rainbow, and it's kind of like got a like a silver metallicy color. I'd have to show y'all. Is this like one of a cup I have? And at some point, I'll probably have my cup here drinking um, coffee or something when I'm feeling better. Um, it's, it's, it's very, they're not bad earrings. They're just not my style. Like these ones, I like better than I think the one on this side. And I don't know what it is. I just, I don't know. And it bothers my OCD that they're not the same on both ears. Um, I kind of wish they'd give us like a couple versions of these. So maybe we could have two of the pointy ones and, and two of these little like hoopy ones and, and whatnot, like pears. Um, but they, they didn't because the Sims team just doesn't always do that. Um, and so I was, I was kind of saddened by that. I really was. I was like, man, I just want some cool like stripey colors but it's okay maybe i'll give her the white i think she looks good in the white give her some boots like she it's not because like there are different um when it comes to fashion different like styles of goth clothing um and whatnot and i don't think this is like traditional golf cold clothing but I'm not positive I'm not a fashion expert I've seen on different review videos people debating is it more like punk or alternative or you know whatnot and I'm not an expert in that but I do I do like the the vibe it's good for those sims who are like trying to rebel you know when you're making that teenage sim and you want them to be rebelling uh, that's what I, I picture it being used for. But what I did notice is that perfect goth dress that I love is not in formal wear. You have to like exit out if you want your sim to like be wearing it. And I was like, why? Because it's, it's gorgeous. And if I was goth, that would be my formal wear. Like, I don't know. Even I really, really liked it. I feel like it mixes and matches a lot of like feminine and um, non um, feminine elements. You know, like it's it's very nice. It's got like that, like the studs, the netting, and it's and like it's fitted, but it also doesn't like it's not like bright pink like I would be drawn to. Um, once again, colors are for everyone, but, like, it doesn't, where, whereas people have different, um, like, clothing styles, it doesn't necessarily scream to me, like, um, scream to me, like, girly or anything. Ooh, and these shoes would look great with this. These are custom content shoes I have, and I got them for Halloween, but they actually look really good with this dress. Um, but anyways, I wanted base game clothing items for this sim, so I might just go with these plain, simple, uh, black flats. Maybe we'll do, like, some sort of netting at the bottom. Maybe we'll actually do, like, maybe a different netting. There's this netting here, which I really, really like. Does that have, like, a reddish shade? Yeah, but it's not, like, the same red, is it? But it still works nicely with the with the dress. Like, I like that. That's cool. Um, and then I think maybe we'll pull, like, maybe for her winter wear, I'll do the trench coat. Um, maybe also in, in the red. I'm just really feeling red today, okay, y'all? Like... <laughs> like no joke you can find a lot of cc that definitely could be uh paired with this kit if if you're uh 
CC if you're a PC player, if you play on computer, if you play on console, this is the closest you're going to get to CC is these kits at the moment. Um, but, like, if you're like me and you play on computer, you can find some really cool, uh, like, boots and things that'll go really well with this kit. I like these ones. These are my favorite custom content boots right now. And the black just, like, blends in so nicely. Um, but I'm, I'm trying to, like, not use CC in this outfit. So I'm trying to, like, dial it back a bit. Um, maybe we'll just use these boots. I think, does Werewolf have boots? I know they have boots, right? They had a really cool boot in Werewolf. They may just not be under this, this category. Which I hate, because I have to go looking in things in categories where they're not. Yeah, they have some really cool shoes and things in Werewolf that actually pair really nicely. And maybe she doesn't live in a place where it, like, snows heavily like I do you know because I don't live where it snows heavily okay I feel like for summer wear we'll probably go with this top with the netting again maybe with some shorts um and maybe we'll go with what do we have for shoes um maybe we can go with like some little 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 flats and then we can do like some fun, some fun t n fishnets. And those actually kind of match the top. I feel like that's, we're, we're getting somewheres. I do, sh I should put the makeup on her winter wear. Um, we can give her some like really heavy eyeliner with her winter wear. But I don't think we need to go too all out for this. I'm going to give I kind of want to give her my favorite custom content lipstick. But I'm not. I'm not. I'm going to pass over it. Um, and let's do some eye, eyes shadow. Um, and let's just see what there is under the hot weather wear. Because we may find something that surprises us. No, I'm not really finding anything super... But, you know, maybe we'll do, like, some thick eyeliner. Like, I don't know. That's interesting. I mean, granted, it, like, takes up most of her, uh, her eyelashes. But her, uh, her EA eyelashes. I mean, it's a, it's a look. And then I always like to go and like heavy on the blush on my my wintertime sims and my summertime sims. Maybe it's because I sunburn so easily that I'm like, oh, they're like me. They're going to sunburn. And I just need to like prepare them for that. Um, I'm going to have her do like a very, uh, very dark lip. And then maybe we'll just go with a, I don't know what a goth bathing suit would be. Maybe just, um, I feel like this is beyond my expertise now. Maybe just this. Maybe we'll go with that. Like, that's, that's cool. And, um, maybe we'll go with, like, this. And maybe this in black and just give her some, some some black shoes yeah we'll give her these i mean she looks good and maybe let's take off the the ring the ring is gonna drive me nuts where is it there it is okay she's pretty she is a pretty sim very very pretty and then we'll give her just some blush. And then um, maybe we'll, like, choose one of the shirts from, like, the Grunge Revival kit. Um, let's, let's see if we have that for an option for party wear. No, we don't. Like, the one kit I go to pick, and they're like, no, nah, that's not... That is not party wear. I mean, for the most part, I could just decorate, like, a whole sim like this. To be fair, like... 
Like, she is a mood. She really is. I love that on her. Love that look. She is so cute. Okay, let's let's give her some like I don't know, something something nice for PJ. Well, the Grim Reaper is certainly uh, an interesting choice, but I I might just go with it because I mean, I don't know if that's goth, but like it it's it's certainly eye catching, and I feel like my sim here would love Grim Reaper PJs. Um, I even, I also feel like she put some makeup on in her sleep, like she she's that person that would be going to bed full makeup on and whatnot, and I am I'm living for it. Um. Okay, I don't see the earrings I want, but anyways, I think all I have left is her active wear, and I kind of wanted to to get something from the the grunge revival kit to go to go with it. Um, grunge revival. And then we'll do goth. Maybe we'll do werewolf. Just just to be on the safe side, werewolf vampires any anything at this point okay any clothing clothing item will do not even for the bottoms maybe if i just like exit out of athletic how is this athletic wear i don't know if i see that as athletic wear i I think that may be pushing it. Um, I kind of want to pair it with like this, uh, like hoodie, and and maybe some just black shoes. Um, and maybe some like black socks, cause it, it, this is probably her like gym look, you know, for like school, for like, cause she's maybe she's a high schooler. I might make her a high schooler. I don't know if high schoolers what they dress like nowadays, but I think she could fit right in with high schoolers. I think she could. She's very young looking. Um, and I want to go in like thick with her eyeliner again. I feel like the thickest I can go is a cat eye. I don't know why. I feel like cat eye is perfect for any makeup look in The Sims. And I don't know if it's because I'm not that well versed in makeup. That I'm just like, you know what? This could use more of. This could simply use more. Um, it, it, it could simply use more, uh, more cat eye. I don't know if she looks goth to me in this outfit. I don't know, but I'm going to leave it. Because I feel like overall, she's like a very, a very well-dressed sim. And I... I really didn't use many packs. I feel like not even the ones I thought I would mix and match this with, but I definitely think you could get like a few different looks with in particular, like I said, vampires, uh, werewolves, uh, do, 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 where are werewolves, werewolves, vampires, and the, the the grunge revival i feel like these very much like you could put like maybe a, a band tee and get like a cool look um and maybe then like you you, you change up the 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 tight some and you know then you and, and maybe even go with like shoes from like um werewolves because I know they have some shoes. And, like, you could have her, like, look like she's going to, like, a band concert. And I feel like that works really, really well. And I, I kind of love it on her. So, I definitely think you could mix and match this with a few packs. Um, now for our male sim. Let's see how he does. I kind of want the trench coat look. I, I want him to match his, his sister. 
Maybe his little sister. I'm going to make her a teenager. Because I feel like the clothes, they, they fit just as well on a teenager. And let's face it, I want to see what it looks like on a teenager. Because I'm going to use this for a lot of my rebellious teen sims. Um, I feel like... I feel like she wants to, like, live fast and, like, rebel. Um, I feel like she's very confident. Um, I feel like she's a music lover, for sure. And then, maybe a little bit of a, oh, no, I can only choose two traits. Okay. Then I would choose music lover for her. And then I'll do her, like, brother. Maybe he's her big brother. He's gone off to college. Like, I have a whole scenario of, of what happened with him. Um, but yeah, this is... This is vampires, and I feel like that would definitely uh, work with the, um, the the platform boots. I don't know why. I'm like, I think, I think the platform boots could totally, um, totally work. Um, yeah, for sure. Either of these could, but I like the platform boots. Like that is a look. Like I'm sorry. Like, imagine this this formal coat with these shoes. You're going to be like, that's, that's a look, man. Like, you go and be you, you know. You rock it. Um, and then there's, like, the werewolf's one, which is kind of also goes really well. Kind of want to, maybe I'll give him this one. Because maybe he, like... Maybe he's more, like, grunge than his sister is. Like, he likes more of, like, the the gr grunge revival than just straight up, like, goth. I love this. And then maybe with just these and, like, a gray and we can give him, um, always boots. I don't think he cares if it's winter I feel like I feel like even if it's winter, this sim in particular, um, I don't think he care. I, I think he would want his boots, but I also know that his boots aren't really a summer look. Um, so maybe we'll go with like something a little more casual. Maybe those. Those look nice. Those are just as good. I can live with those. Okay, now we need his swimwear. What am I going to put him in for swimwear? I'm not sure I have a lot of swimwear that, like, I feel like fit his vibe. Maybe just that. That that could work. With, like, maybe with, like, just, I don't know. Maybe, like, that. I like that top. Maybe that? I don't know. I don't know what I think would be a good top for him. I feel like not, no, maybe no top is better. Um, maybe, maybe no top. Okay, let's, let's just move on real quickly. I feel like this with maybe those pants. The, ooh, that's nice. I like those. We even got a few different, like, color options for patches. I kind of like the really, uh, the really pale ones. And then maybe we can get, um, let's see what shoes we can get. How about these ones? Um, maybe not this shirt on second, though. Well. Maybe that. And then different pants. Maybe it's the pants that are not doing it for me. Yeah, I like that. I, I, I definitely think you can mix and match to get some unique looking sims. Um... Yeah, I feel like he's a, he's, he wants to, like, 
I feel like he knows what he wants as an individual. He wants to, like, maybe be, like, a, a maker. Or maybe he wants to fish and live off the land. I'm not really sure which. I feel like he wants to be a master maker. I feel like I've already got him figured out. And it only took me, like, not that long at all. And then maybe he can wear that shirt with... With these bottoms, with maybe just... We'll style them with some black. Maybe even not this shirt. Maybe the werewolf one. I kind of like the werewolf one. And we'll just get that off of him. Maybe, maybe we'll get his hair back on him. I like that. I like that shirt. I think. I think. I say it as I go to change it again. Maybe we'll do the sword short. I, I like that as well. Um, I love this. This is some CC that I have, but like it, it's nice. It's really cool. Um, anyways, um, away from my CC collection and back to what we were, uh, what we were doing. I think this looks really good. Um, what else? Maybe this. Because I feel like he is, like I said, he is maybe not as goth or as punk or whatever as his sister is. But he still knows what he wants, you know. He still, he still uh, for sure knows what he would like to do with his life. He wants to like own his own business, selling things. He does like to get dressed up for a party, okay. He really does. But there is my wonderful sim. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed watching me um, make him. I, I might have him like sport like the blue or even the gray. Because he strikes me as a very gray kind of person. Especially since like most of his outfits but one shirt are all like gray. Um, and then I feel like his personality... He's also a music lover, but he is a baker, and I feel like he's a little gloomy. I don't know why. He strikes me as a gloomy guy. Um, and then you could definitely even put, I wonder, do they not have the makeup for the guys? That is interesting. That is disappointing. Because I was like, ooh, maybe the men are going to have some, like, makeup for, like, if they're, it, for, like, an angsty teen or something. And nah, they didn't do that for me. Like, they didn't, like, I don't, I don't understand. I like, I like that purple on him. I feel like he is, like, a very fashion-forward kind of guy. Yeah, that is that is this sim right here. Um, I don't know what I should name him. Ooh, Vance. I like the name Vance. And then... Levin. Vance Levin. Maybe they, them pronouns. Maybe he's non-binary, you know? Um, and I feel like... She, her, she would also be 11. Because, like, right. Um, and then, um, like, they, they're, they've got a family dynamic already. Um, and then what would be her first name? Uh, how about Raylin Levin? That's, that's a mouthful for me. 
Um, and then I think her walk style would be very tough. And maybe his would be more... What could his be? He, he can walk with some swagger. Like, he knows he's... He, he's he's perfect. How about that? He knows he's perfect. And on that note, I hope you all are having a very good day. And I hope to uh, spend time with you tomorrow. Tomorrow, um, I'm not sure what kind of video I'm going to put up. I apologize for not having videos like the past uh, like week and whatnot because I've been sick. Um, my nose is still running and I still got a cough. Um, but I'm hoping that... At some point, I'll do, like, the castle kit review. That should be a lot shorter than this one. Unless I plan to, like, try and build a house with it. Maybe I won't even do a review. I'll just, like, do a can we build a house with the castle kit review or something. I don't know. Or can we build a castle? Um, but uh, let me know what you think of this video. Give me a thumbs up. Let me know if this is your kind of, like, dress style. Because everyone has such different dress styles. I lean more towards, like, very girly, very, very feminine, um, and whatnot, but, uh, and very comfy. I like comfy, too, and colorful. I like color. Um, and that's what I lean towards when I dress my sim, is, like, some more of my, like, personal style. Not all my sims. Some sims, I, I try to go outside the box, um, and this, this is very much outside the box for me, um, but I like it. I like how they turned out, and I'm excited to put them in my game. Um, and I'm excited to uh, play The Sims with y'all. Bye, everyone. Keep simming.